Oh, hello, my friends. I was just reading this book on how to become sexier. As you are probably already aware, such a book is useless to me. After all, what is infinity plus one? Let's not pretend. If you are a woman, you are already falling madly in love with me. And if you are a man, you are probably struggling with some confusing thoughts right about now. Do not be concerned. My machismo is as legendary as that of the other great Latin lovers. Don Juan Ricardo Montalban Cesar Romero His distant cousin Anthony, Desi Arnaz, Raul Montoya, and Rico Suave. You two can join our ranks. Observe. Me mum says I'm quite the looker. I've collected every episode of Star Trek in history from all six series, animated included. I even made a web series depicting the adventures of Christopher Pike's Enterprise. I call it Star Trek The Cage Revisited. Look at this guy. So nerdy, so geeky. In his current state, he may never find a woman. But if I merely show him how to- What? Oh my, aren't you quite the looker? I'm a Star Trek fan myself. And I even wrote a fan fic about Captain Sulu aboard the Excelsior. Take a look at some of my sketches. My soulmate, I found you at long last. Wait a minute, what's Captain Sulu doing with his first officer? Okay, so perhaps I was wrong. Everyone has the potential to find someone who will love them for who they truly are. Nevertheless, I can still offer seven tips on what to do and what not to do when you find your significant other. Rule number one, never tell a woman that something is either too big or too small. Breaking this rule is a one-way trip to Miss Spray City. Population you, number two, remember to make eye contact. Never let your gaze fall any further than 10 degrees below this line of sight. Number three, chocolate is a wonderful gift, but it also has certain euphoric properties. Too much could mean having to pick out a preschool much earlier than your 15 year plan would currently depict. Number four, never date a woman more than 20 years older than yourself. If she thinks beta will win the format wars, she might be a bit out of your demographic. Number five, if she wants to shave her head, let her. That chick from your rhythmics was hot. Number six, if she writes a slash fic about you and your best friend, you have crossed the threshold into what I like to call the run away and don't look back zone. And finally, number seven, if she is the one to ask you out and ultimately the one to propose, keep her a lot less humiliation on your part. Trust me. Until next time, Don Ricardo Montalbegin, signing off. A prominent revolutionary transformed by a bolt of lightning. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and electrified. But Franklin, Redcoat Slayer. This, my editorial debut, will be my magnum opus. Hello again, my friends. Today I offer you some new tips on how to win over your lover's heart. The first thing on the itinerary we must discuss, attire. The following articles of clothing are completely out of the question for you to wear. Number one, fedora with feather. Number two, fedora with press tag. Number three, you know what, any kind of fedora, it does no matter. Number four, Fred Jones from Scooby-Doo Ascot. Number five, Rocky J. Squirrel, aka Rocky of Rocky and Bowinkle fame goggles. Number six, Ross Perot. T-shirt. In number seven, a loincloth. Now I will teach you how to speak softly into your lover's ear. Monster X and Biolante have allowed me to demonstrate. Biolante, I will speak sweet nothings into your ear. Things that make absolutely no sense. The British monarchy. Kesha's <laughs> popularity. <laughs> compact fluorescent light bulbs. <laughs> the fantasy matches for <laughs> Sat AM's consolation. <laughs> no new rogue squadron games in like seven years. <laughs> and finally, Turducken. <laughs> All right, mister, that's quite enough. We want the girls fun, why don't you? Follow these simple steps and you will do a okay, my friends. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a hot day with a classy lady. Until next time, Don Began, signing off. 
So that's when, like, I decided I didn't need to fight Gamera after all. Oh, that's fascinating. Please go on. I know, right? So anyway, that's when I decided to leave the world of professional Dae wrestling and go back to school for cos... Cosmetology. Um, no, cosmology. I was all like, yeah, I know what a Schwarzschild radius is, but you know, how can I apply that to everyday life? Just avoid black holes, I guess. Totally easier said than done. She's right, you know. You want a big and blushy? You want a big and blushy? I'll give you a big and blushy. Hello there, my friend. Ah!